everyone, Ella here. Let's continue with the seven wonders of the ancient world. Statue of Zeus at Olympia. It seems a pattern going on here. The statue of Zeus at Olympia was a giant seated feature figure, about twelve point one four meters, four point forty one foot tall, made by the Greek sculptor Hermes around 435 BC at the century of Olympia, Greece, erected in the temple of Zeus there. So, it's a sculpture that is made with gold and ivory. I can't say that word, I speak with, sorry. Uh, the statues enjoyed high status in ancient Greece. Above ivory plates and gold panels, on woodwork framework, it represented the god Zeus on the cedar wood throne, ornamented with ebony, ivory, gold, and precious stones. One of the seven wonders ancient of the ancient world, the statue was lost and destroyed during the fifth century A.D. by Jane lost and destroyed. Details of its form are known only from ancient Greek description and representations of it. History. The statue of Zeus was commissioned by the Elans, custodians of the Olympic Games, in the later half of the 5th century BC for their newly constructed temple of Zeus, taking their Athenian rivals. The Athenians employed renowned sculptor Phyllis, who had previously made the massive statue, this one, in the Pantheon. The statue occupied half the width of the aisle of the temple built to house it. It seems that Zeus, if Zeus were to stand up, the geographer Stato noted early in the first century BC, he would unroof the temple. This Zeus was a, this one, sculpture made with ivory and gold panels on a wooden structure. No copy in marble or bronze has survived, though there are recognisable but only approximately versions on coins of here by Alice and on Roman coins and engraved gems. The 2nd century AD geographer and traveller Perusinus left a detailed description. The statue was crowned with a sculptured wealth of olive sprays and wore a gilded robe made of glass and carved with animals and lilies. Its right hand held a small crystalline statue of the crowned knight, goddess of victory. It left its sepulchre inlaid with many medals, supporting an eagle. The throne featured painted figures and raw images, was decorated with gold, precious stones, ebony and ivory. Zeus' golden sandals rested upon a footstool that it decorated with, this is like the Amazons of the women that beat these men in relief. Passage underneath the throne was restricted by painted screens. Parisians also recount, recounts that the statue was kept consistently coated with olive oil to counter harmful effects on the ivory caused by the marshiness of the Atlas Grove. The floor in front of the image was paved with black tiles and surrounded by raised rim of marble to contain the oil. The reservoir acted as a reflecting pool which doubled the apparent height of the statue. According to Roman history historian Livy, the Roman general Aetius Paulus, the victor of the Macedonian, saw the statue which moved his soul as if he'd seen the god in person. Was 1st century AD Greek order Dio Chrysostom declared that a single glimpse of the statue would make man forget all his earthly troubles. According to legend, when Philonus was asked what inspired him, whether he climbed Mount Olympus to see Zeus, or whether Zeus came down from Olympus to see him, the artist answered that he portrayed Zeus according to Book 1, verses 528-530 of Homer's Iliad. He spoke, the son of Cronos, and nodded his head with dark brows, and the immortality anointed heir to the great god, swept from his divine he head, and Olympus was shaken. 
so the sculptor also reviewed it to have immortalised Partex, Partex, the winner of boys wrestling event at the 86th Olympiad, who had been said to have been his beloved. Mm -hmm. He carved it into Zeus's little finger and by placing a relief of the boy crowning himself at the feet of the statue. According to Carusians, when the image was quite finished, Philodus prayed to the god to sh show by a sign whether the work was to his liking. Immediately runs the legend. A thunderbolt fell on that part of the floor where down to the present day the bronze jar stood. It's also been Suetonus. The Roman Emperor Calgi and such statues of the gods were dismissed for their sanctuary or their artistic merit include Olympia should be brought from Greece in order to remove their heads and look so very bad. The from the Emperor it was assassinated in 41 AD. His death was supposedly foretold by the statue which suddenly uttered such a purr of laughter that the scaffolding collapsed and the workmen took to their heads. In 391 AD, the Roman Emperor Theodorus banned participation in pagan temples. A century at Olympia fell to disuse. The circumstances of statues eventual destruction are not unknown. 11th century Byzantine historian Georgios Carendus records a tradition that it was carried off to Constantinople, where it was destroyed in a great fire of the palace of Lazarus in 475 AD. Alternatively, the statue perished along with the temple, which was severely damaged by fire in 425 AD, but earlier loss or damage is implied by a Lucerian of Samosa. In the later 2nd century, in reference to Timon, they have laid hands on your person at Libya, my lord, high thunder, and you that had not the energy to wake the dogs or call in the neighbours. Surely they might come in to rescue and court the fellows before they had finished packing up the loot. So his worship. The approximate date of the statue, the third quarter of the 5th century BC, was confirmed in the rediscovery, 1954-58, of Philodus workshop, approximately where Perusians in the statue of Zeus was construction. Archaeological finds, including tools for working gold and ivory, Ivory chipmunks, precious stones, and terracotta molds, burst in ladder, were used to create glass plaques and to, to deform the statue's robes from sheets of the glass, naturalistically draped and folded and gilded. A cup inscribed says, Or oh, I belong to Philippus, was found at the site. So, the, the beautiful way they did those carvings of gold is just amazing. And I don't think if we tried today with our technology, we could build something so beautiful like that. I'm not, you know, I have a god, I'm not praising to other gods, I'm just saying that humankind seems to have lost its ability to have that sort of craftsmanship, There's, we just don't have it. So this is the archaeology site where they've discovered most of the furnaces and the tools they used to, you know, gild the gold and form the glasswork. It would be beautiful to go through those sites. And it's saying that all this destruction took place in, within 60 years, and it's sad, it's like it was just deliberately done. Now this is the statue on the coins. So a fanciful reconstruction made an engraving made in 1542. So it'd be a glass engraving. So this is what it was supposed to look like drawn 1815. have a quick squeeze on uh, Google Earth and see where it was. That 
but the S2 hard drive and put it to its speed metal day. It's good that some of it's still alive, not re rediscovered. Put the routing tracks again. Oh, I see what it's. Of course, you do. Oh, it's not a bit different what I'm usually seeing. Okay. Oops. This is another port in Greece. I'll just check this one out. Put this little hill out. <laughs> Wish I could go back further in time. I come across this one and this is a fort, a very old one. So start here. So you've got the outline here, and then you've got this bit here, there, here, up here, all around. It's quite a big one too. It was right down and even up in here. And there seems to be a second one. This is probably, I'll just come across it, so yeah, this would be a, a citadel. So you got, and you got another one up here, this is just big here. There's no design in the, oh, the effort put in to build this. And the shapes of it, yeah. Tower there on that little bit. So it would have been a walled city. Sorry, things around out there. They got a nice ocean pool, they're beautiful, those pools. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful the design. They step up there, and they get in here. I think it's just amazing to come across these forts. You know, this is just massive. This is a whole. You've got a citadel, and then you've got the star fort around and protecting it. And I'm sure as we have a look around quickly, we'll probably find a few more little ones around it. And I was just having a look to see. Oh, look, there's another one right there. There's two. Wow. So we've got this one here. Absolutely beautiful. Let's go back a few years. Okay. Oh wow. Sorry, I don't know the names of these places. I've just sort of I know the name of the first one. It's the Florence Lines, the name of it. Wow, you know. Just the design of it and then that links up with this one over here. The design here. It's amazing how they design it all into each other. So if we go over here, we probably would have had one as well. Yep, look, this probably would have been part of one. Yep. Looks like they're demolishing it. Okay. So, look, that, that'd be at least 20 foot deep. Look at that. Look the ramp they built there. It's sad that they're doing that. It's over here. Yeah, probably an older one at one stage and it's been remodeled. The map of the Citadel Fort. Oh, I love these ocean pools, they're beautiful. I just want that. It's really beautiful to see them. Big one, it's massive. 
There it is. So if you just check out this other side. I already checked out one side. Let's check out the other side. Oh wow, that's the part of the old fort. They've got a jetty that goes out so they can bring supplies in. Wow, this would have been too by the design of it. Built up, yep. Oh, look here. Look at the design of it. Absolutely beautiful. Look here. So this one would have fit in at some stage, it would have been part of the fort, but it's probably been redesigned the star bit here. It's probably been repurposed. All of these places seem to have a citadel set up. Dry dock, wet dock to repair the ships. They have very good fortification and protection. You see here the design. Here, here, look at this one here. I just noticed this. See, look there, it goes around. It would have had a moat around it. See it? So, it would have been a big one in its day. Look how big it is! Wow! So, there's one star, another one there. Um, it's a massive citadel star fort with another star fort in it. This is so cool. Goes around. And it's got your dry docks for your ships. So it's so cool. So yeah, so it's a walled city, but it would have had a moat, so it's got two moat systems. It's got a moat system here on the outside, and then it's got another moat system that's now probably a road system as well here. And then if you look again, it probably would have had another moat system. That is so cool. So it's got one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, eight points on it. I'll mark them out. Hang on. Oh, I've marked out where most of them are. I missed that little one there. But this is absolutely beautiful. Got another star fort here. And it's just all linking up with each other. They're absolutely built beautifully. Absolutely amazing the design, the time that has gone in. This was how many like the stars I was talking about. So you've got the citadel inside of your shipbuilding yard, so you got your defences and everything was taken into account. Like the design is amazing. Like look here the shape. Absolutely beautiful design. So I just wanted to share that with you and try and distract for the day. So thank you very much if you for listening and I hope you enjoyed the distraction from this of the world that's going on. And stick around, we got more to come. But this is just amazing to find these star forts like I have and it all links up to the seven wonders of the world. So thank you very much. Bye.